carve up your competition with the new Wilson Blade 98 16x19 V9. Featuring a sharp new cosmetic, Wilson updates one of its most popular rackets with stable feel, which slightly increases the stiffness for greater stability and easier access to power. Like its predecessor, this racket incorporates direct connect technology, fusing the butt cap directly to the carbon fiber handle for better feel. Additionally, there is a new clip and go grommet system that not only locks down the bumper, but also makes for easier grommet installation. The specs remain relatively unchanged, featuring a 11.4 ounce strong weight, a four points headlight balance, and a slightly beefier swing weight. This was a really interesting play test for me because I was on both the open string pattern and the 1820. I usually prefer the 1820 string bed, but out of the two, I actually preferred this racket. I really like the way the ball launched out of the string bed. I was getting some really nice spin on my top spin ground strokes, and I enjoyed the height over the net that this racket afforded compared to the 1820. So a bit of a departure for me, and usually what I prefer the 1820 for is on flatter strokes, but because I can control the depth better, but with this racket, I had no issues there. And, um, and so I was just getting all the benefits of a more open pattern with none of the trade-offs usually um, that I, when I struggle with depth. Loved it at net as well, super fast in the hand, easy to get around, plenty of feel for the ball. Um, thought the sweet spot was generous. Uh, the feel is a little bit muted, um, very comfortable, but a little bit disconnected from what I'm used to playing with. But still, I felt like I was directing the ball well, getting good placement on my shots. Uh, there's enough mass for me on serve, getting good pace, good spin. So really no complaints, fun play test for me. Now, I don't really consider myself a traditional blade player, but I really enjoyed this update. I found really great access to spin on my ground strokes, on my volleys, and on my serves. Um, I also found really nice net clearance and easy depth with this racket thanks to its slightly higher launch angle. Uh, although, I will say that on my backhand slice, I did find that it was floating a little bit on me. I was having a tougher time knifing it and keeping it low with this racket. Uh, but it is a blade, so I thought the overall control of this racket was really good, and I thought this update uh, felt a little bit more solid than the previous version. Personally, I would have preferred a slightly whippier response, but I still felt like it, I was able to swing it relatively well and generate a good racket head speed with it. Uh, really, the only one small downside for me here was the feel. I did appreciate that lower flex, but it felt just a bit too muted and too dampened for my taste. But performance-wise, uh, I felt like I was able to swing this racket well and hit all my shots with it and hit them well. Uh, so really no complaints there. So overall, a nice subtle update from Wilson. We are now going to check in with our play testers at our sister company, Tennis Rouse Europe. How did the new 9th edition Blade 98 work out for you guys? Thank you very much, Dejan. It was a pleasure for me to test this uh, new version of the Wilson Blade V9, as I'm a player since uh, the Novak Djokovic and Blade version. Once again, I had a great feeling with this new version of the Blade. Indeed, as this is a control racket, I had the same sensations as the previous version with a pure stroke and increased precision. On the forehand, I was able to be both aggressive on the forward shot and very precise on the ground strokes. On the back end, I felt very good control on my defensive slice, but also good power when I wanted to take advantage of the point. On the volley, stability was the watchword on the, my low volleys and approach shots. Precision was the key to my attacking volley when I wanted to be aggressive to finish the point. On my serve, I was able to vary my first serve with slices to keep my opponent off the court, but also with powerful serve to gain the upper hand during the point. In the second serve, I was able to take a lot of security to be both aggressive and give myself enough leeway. To conclude, I was super happy to test this new Wilson Blade V9, as I'm a big fan of uh, this range, of course, and also the color is look amazing. Uh, I will recommend this racket for uh, intermediate but also advanced player who are looking for a precision control with a bit more power than the previous version. Since 18 years, Wilson keeps on improving this iconic racket. Right now, this is one of the most played on the tour. I used to play with the V5 version and it's for me an opportunity to compare this racket with the old version. I used to love playing with the blade wrench because I like the balance between control and power. I can't play with a very powerful racket, otherwise I do too many mistakes and I don't get the perfect gesture to play with an oriented control racket. That's why blade fits with my playstyle. I had exactly the same sensation as soon as I hit my first ball. First of all, I felt more connected to the ball, like if the ball stays longer in my string with a better feedback on my arm. 
When I tried to put spin, I got this sensation to feel the ball pocketing with the strings. Also, even I always found this mode as stable, I had more stability at the net or when I had to return big serve from my opponent. It makes me more aggressive when I started the point. Even if this blade is in 98 square, I managed to put enough spin to push back my opponent and move forward on the court in order to drive the rallies. On the other hand, sometimes I had the feeling the racket was too much demanding in terms of physical investment. When I didn't make enough effort, my ball was too short and I had to defend critical situations. In overall, for me, the blade stayed the blade. I mean, you can still find the feel, the control and the stability. Also, I really can understand why this racket is one of the most played on the tour, because every play style can play with it. If you want to get more control, I would advise to you to play with the version 18 by 20. So now, let's see what James from Australia is thinking about this racket. Thanks guys, I was so excited to play test the Wilson Blade V9 because I was on the review for the V8, so it feels like it's come full circle. Well, what can I say? The Blade V9 does not disappoint. It plays just as great as the previous versions, and in my opinion, there's just a couple of improvements. The V8 felt a little bit plush, which is not bad, but the extra stability that I found in the V9, to me, completes this racket. It has everything that you could want from it. Speed, power, spin, control. It's an absolute sublime racket. I highly recommend playing with Luxlon Alu Power. You can try a few different string setups, but to me, these two are a match made in heaven. I highly recommend this to all players, beginners through to advanced players. It is so versatile, I think there's something in it for everyone. We strung up the Wilson Blade 98 16x19 V9 with a few different string setups, including Luxalon Alu Power at 52 pounds. For more information on this racket or any others, be sure to check out tenniswarehouse.com, tenniswarehouseeurope.com or tennisonly.com.au. Thanks for watching.